guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make slime in the UK with British ingredients and the first recipe I'm going to be showing you is for fluffy slime. We're going to need some glue and I use the extra strong PVA glue from the works and this costs £3. After that I go in with my shaving phone and I use the Gillette sensitive one because this doesn't smell as much and this is what makes it really really fluffy and to add some more fluff I also use some foaming hand wash and this is just from Tesco in the kids section. Sometimes fluffy slime can be a little hard so when I make it softer I add some lotion and I'm just using the Nivea lotion but I don't have a set lotion that I normally use. Then I just go in and mix all of the wet items up before I go in with my cornstarch and this is called cornflour in the UK and the cornflour I use is from Tesco and I get it from the baking aisle next to all the flour and other ingredients and I think it costs 70p for a huge jar so it's really really good. I like to use about a cup of cornflour in my mix just because it helps the slime hold its shape really well after you've activated it and it makes it so fun to swirl. But the main reason I add so much cornflour is because the act activator I use contains a lot of water so if you don't add that much then it's not absorbing it and it kind of becomes jiggly and kind of gross. So the activator we're going to be using is Kershaw's Laundry Sludge and I use three tablespoons of this and then pop it into a four ounce container, fill up the rest of the container with some cold water. I then mix it all up and you need to add this very quickly, it isn't the type of activator that you can have sitting around because all the powder sinks to the bottom. So make it just as you finish mixing all the other ingredients just at the end point and it will be fine but what happens is the slime becomes really hard and then the more you stir it the stickier it becomes which is kind of weird it's the opposite of what you want to happen when you're activating a slime but I find that once I've added my whole cup in that's enough to fully activate the slime even though it may not look like it at first you just need to keep stirring it and eventually it will become too hard to stir with your spatula and you may need to go in with your hands and what I find is that it's really sticky inside but on the outside it's quite tough so if you play with it for five minutes then it becomes like a normal slime and it's so fun to play with. If at first, like me, you don't add enough shaving foam, it's perfectly fine to go in with it afterwards and it will make no difference to your mixture. The next recipe is for a clicky glossy slime and we're going to start off by adding the same PVA we used in the first tutorial and then we're going to go in with a deep conditioning conditioner and this one is from Aussie and it's the Miracle Nourish 3 Minute Moist. I'm pretty sure any deep treatment conditioner will work so if you don't have this exact one but you have one that's similar feel free to add it and add lots of it because this is what makes it super clicky. And then we're going to go in and add quite a lot of foaming hand wash just to add a bit of fluff without adding shaving foam. And then after that I like to colour it and the colour I use is from Tesco and the go create one I think they're about 120 or 150 so they're not super expensive the only thing is after a while your slime changes color so as you can see here it's super pink but then in the next shot it kind of goes a bit lighter and it carries on doing that once you've activated it so that kind of sucks but if you don't mind that then this is a really good paint to use and after that I go into my Kershaw's laundry starts mixture again and much like the first tutorial I just add it little by little and stir it with my spatula until I can no longer stir it and with this mixture it's a lot harder to stir just because there's a lot of glue and there isn't much shaving foam to kind of make it a little thinner so I do have to go with my hands quite early as you can see here and once you start playing with it with your hands it does fix quite easily and it turns so so nice and glossy after a while but sometimes you do need to add a tiny bit more kershaws than you do with the previous mixture just because for some reason shaving foam makes slime easier to activate but after that you end up with a really nice clicky slime. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next week.